today is a big day in the history of the DIY designer. I have a manicure. I never have a manicure, but I have pretty red nails today. I went to a fancy schmancy red carpet event last night. Um, it's called the Gracie Awards. It's basically like the Alliance of Women in Entertainment put on this award show and Home and Family, the TV show that I work on got honored with best talk show. It was really cool. Cheryl Crow performed. There was all these fancy celebrities there. I put on a pretty dress and I did my nails. Um, so it was cool. It was a really fun night. Yeah, but that's, that's old news. All right, so today's project is really exciting. It's something that I've been wanting to make for a little while now, like a beach cover up. And I wanted to do something that would be really relaxed. I liked the idea of it being open in the front so you could actually wear it almost like a vest. It's just like a deep V in the front. You can tie it open or tie it closed. Basically the way that this is gonna be is two really long rectangles. So we'll have one rectangle that goes from the floor up over the shoulder and back down the bottom. And then another one that goes from the floor up over the shoulder and back down the bottom. That's it. It's gonna be a really great one. Perfect for the summer. So let's get right into it. Let's do materials. If you have fabric like mine that has a print on it of some sort, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to fold your fabric in half and line up the print exactly so that you'll have a perfectly mirrored image on the right and the left. Now, obviously when they cut your fabric, it's not even, so I'm just using a rotary cutter and a ruler to even out the bottom because one of the first things I wanna do is cut a few two inch strips that I'm gonna need later. Now's a perfect time to do it, so I just line it up to a two inch strip, use my rotary cutter, and I just cut a couple of them. This is gonna act as my drawstring and my drawstring casing. Now is the perfect time to do that. So at first, I just cut my fabric right down the middle so that I could have the two long rectangles. I realized though that that was gonna give me like a long sleeve one, which I did not want. So I measured 12 inches, which was gonna give me sort of an off the shoulder look, double checked that it was enough on my waist, which it was, and now I was able to cut it. I basically was cutting it in half again, which means that if I would have been willing to give myself a shoulder seam and thought about it sooner, I could have actually bought half as much fabric to, in order to still get those two really long rectangles you can see there. Here's the full width of my fabric and you can see it's one long rectangle up, over and back down and another one on the other side. So what we're gonna do is create basically a V-neck here this front is not gonna get closed up. The sides are, however, and the back. Decide how big you want your sleeve opening. Once you decide on that, now you're gonna sew closed this whole side. So you're gonna sew everything closed except for that armhole opening there. So at first I decided on a 13 inch armhole and I was about to pin up the entire side when I realized that if I just stopped a little short, I could actually have a really pretty open side slit. So I was leaving 13 inches open for my armhole, sewing closed about 14 inches and then leaving the bottom open. Right now I'm sewing that whole back closed cause that's getting closed in its entirety and then just sewing closed that 14 inch uh, gap on the side. All right, so this is the basic structure. I sewed closed the 14 inches on my side seam. So this was a 13 inch armhole, sewed closed 14 inches, which gives me like a nice thigh high slit. Obviously, if you want that either longer or close all the way, you just keep sewing it. So now all that's left to do is to add a piece all along the inside that's gonna act as a casing for a drawstring so that it can all be drawstringed and tied right here in the front. So take your um, vest, whatever we're calling this thing, and lay it in half on the floor. You wanna make sure to lay it inside out and decide on exactly where you want that drawstring casing to go. Originally, I measured like below my belly button, which was about 19 inches. I end up changing this later, but for now, you're going to put your measuring tape right up to the shoulder, measure at 19 inches, pin one of those two inch pieces that you gave yourself, pin it at 19, slide the measuring tape, pin again at 19, slide the measuring tape, pin again. You're gonna do this all the way around, so across the back and then back over to the front in order to make sure that you've got a perfectly even 19 inch down drawstring casing. Now you're going to sew it in. You just wanna do a simple straight stitch and you're going to do it all across the top first and then move down to the bottom and do the bottom. You're obviously going to leave the center front open. You're just doing top and bottom there but leaving the very center front so you can actually get your drawstring inside. Now the extra second, uh, the extra two inch piece that I created is going to become my drawstring. So you're just gonna fold it in half, obviously, fold it in half, pin it, and you're going to sew it. You wanna sew it with a very small seam allowance and on a very small stitch so that it doesn't open up on you. Otherwise, just straight stitch all the way down. 
Now put a safety pin into the end and feed that safety pin back inside the drawstring. It's basically like a scooch and slide situation in order to flip your drawstring inside out. So slide the extra fabric on that safety pin, pull it over on the other side until the entire thing flips inside out. Now take that safety pin and put it into the opening that you left yourself for your drawstring casing, right? We only sewed closed the top and the bottom, so that opening right there is open, allowing us to put our drawstring in. Now just trim up your edges. Okay, so I am done with this one, but after trying it on, I realized that I made a little bit of a mistake. Number one, the whole thing's a little baggy on me. It still looks cool, but it's just a little bit big. The biggest thing is that I actually made that drawstring casing too low. So the drawstring sits right around my hips as opposed to around my waist. So since I had all that extra fabric, if you remember, I cut the, the length of the fabric after taking my shoulder measurement. I saved that fabric and I just made a whole nother one. So I pinned it to the dress form. I clean finished everything on this one a little bit more precisely once I kind of had the swing of it and I made a few extra changes. I think making it smaller overall is just gonna make it fit me better. And you can see I went in with a zigzag stitch because it looks like it ties in really well with the existing stitch that's already there. I made my armhole 11 inches opening and then closed it up 18 inches so that I still have that sort of side slit but it's not quite as short as the other one. 15 inches from the shoulder is gonna give me the right height. What are you guys thinking about this filter? I'm kind of into it. I have no makeup on so this is very necessary. Um, all right, so I finished everything on the newer version. I added in the drawstring casing so that I can put my drawstring into it. All of my seams have been pressed and they're all like clean finished and hemmed. Um, they look really nice and fancy. And the last thing that I would recommend that you guys do is to add a strap like this in the back. So something like this is gonna be really important so that the sleeves don't just fall off your shoulder. This will keep them in place. You don't wanna make it really tight to change the shape. Let it lay naturally and then just pin in one strap across the back. I am gonna show you guys how the original looser version with the low waist came out. I'm also gonna show you how this newer version with the higher drawstring waist and the more fitted body came out. I'm super stoked. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. 